it's Leslie Morgan, and this is the start of something big. I've been teasing you. I want to introduce you to Susan Hyatt. Hello, she's Leslie. Become, she's become a very good friend of mine, and we have big plans. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go into a little bit about why we are doing this and what, uh, what they can hope to see coming up? So we had this crazy idea that the tri-state area needed and was perhaps ready for two women such as ourselves to give everybody a wake-up call kindly but firmly. Right. And by saying wake-up call, it is because we feel like if you are searching, let's say even YouTube, uh, if you're even searching the internet, sometimes it's hard to find a place where you are going to be empowered, mm -hmm. unless it's through makeup tutorials or right. how to put in hot rollers. God, how'd you get that <laughs> curl in your hair this morning? How'd you get that lipstick? I'm that telling you. Kind of yeah, so, no, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. This is deeper than that. It's something we are both very, very passionate about. Mm -hmm. You've been doing this for like eight years. Yep, so I'm a life coach and an author, and I pretty much spend every day helping women get what they want. And so we thought it would be really fun to talk about issues that empower women, not just women, men too, but primarily we want to help women in the tri-state area figure out what they want, sure. how to get it, and how to stop dumbing themselves down, cowering to the powers that be, right, right. putting what they want on the back burner. We're done with all that nonsense. Yeah. And see, for me, being on the radio, this is this is my, I guess, almost eighth year on the radio. Oh, hey. So we've been speaking, yes. you know, for about the same time. And although it wasn't my intention, you know, I probably, I think, got a radio job because I, I actually, someone just said, you ha we like your voice, could you mm -hmm. do some ads? Mm -hmm. But then what came out of that was me kind of becoming that voice of for women of things they wish they could say but they don't say oh you know yeah. so mm -hmm. I'll get emails and I will also get messages on Facebook and they're like oh my gosh that was so funny I, I want to say that to my husband <laughs> well they'll think that my partner and I which is John Carroll and WKDQ are you know they a married couple sitting there and right. they love it when I just right. give it to him right. and that's because they want to do that too right. and sometimes mm -hmm. you know you don't always feel like you have the power to do it or the find the voice to say mm -hmm. it you have something to say mm -hmm. and we're here to help you not only find your voice mm -hmm. but to use it yes use your voice kick in that glass ceiling what ceiling and empower yourselves to do exactly what you want and so some of the topics that we're going to cover are things like how to have boundaries how to figure out to, how to how to blend and balance your needs with your family's needs how to go for the thing that that maybe you've been too scared to even speak out loud that you want and how and, to say no yeah how to when say no ask over and over and over again can you do this can you do that mm -hmm. there you know, your limits are your own. If you don't feel like doing something, be able to say that. So that's just a few of the topics. And mainly it's a, just about empowering, helping you gain self-confidence, helping you see what's hidden inside of you so that you can use that to its full potential.